okay good evening guys so today we are going to discuss about like the problem we are going to do in assignment 1 of ddps so i hope you guys are fine please some thumbs up yeah cool cool so what we are going to do today is uh, like we are going to discuss the problem we are going to solve okay so today we are do going to do problem identification so like for this process we are going to ask every one of you guys like to state some problem like you think is solvable and uh, you think is like uh, worth to solve okay so let's start with amit amit how are you no mm, fine what okay. about you i'm great amit thanks for asking so what do you think like uh, is problem in your life like you have some problem like you think you can solve See, i'm a pet lover so you, uh, i always have priority over humans over animals so you yeah, as you see that india is facing some really major problems of animals every day on daily basis um, accidents are happening on road of stray animals solutions are there but still it's not enhanced so for me problem is uh, accidents of stray animals great 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 that's a great problem uh, thank you amit thank you. you can just mute your mute yourself okay so now coming to bibek how are you bibek I'm fine. So, what do you think about like what problem do you think you can solve? Like, you think it's like worthwhile investing your time in? Uh, my problem is actually in college. Yes. As uh, you see, there are many students there in the college who are using the mess. So, there is a lot of hustle in the mess to get the food. Okay. So, they can't control the means people. They can't control the children there. to get the food so i think that is a very good big problem in colleges so can you think of that hmm that that's a good idea that's that's also a good problem you can also invest time thank you for your time satyam uh, welcome okay so now let's coming to shanif shanif how are you uh, yeah i am fine how are you i am great thanks for asking by the way what do you think like which problem you can solve uh see actually my idea is to be uh, to be nowadays we are very much dependent on natural resources okay yeah, yeah. so my idea is simply thing uh, is simply generating electricity by all burning all the plastic waste which we just use as a waste and throw it in the ocean okay do you know that uh, we almost throw 46 46000 pieces of plastic Wow, that's in that's a year. Very new, like in a year, and that makes and that makes a total of two hundred and seventy million tons of plastics. You can think two hundred and seventy million of plastic there are in the ocean till now. So we have to seriously think about it, and this is the main problem to, uh, like uh, some like some uh, some company I have think that very less, but uh, they they are taking an uh, taking an initiative to. to to recycle something from that to, to plastic that uh, you can see adidas adidas is uh, making uh, shoes from their recycled plastic and they are removing and they are actually cleaning the ocean by taking our money yeah, that that's a great so, problem we can solve yeah thank, thank you shani yeah. uh thank I, you. that's a really good problem thank you for your time uh now ankit coming to ankit so what do you think like uh, you have some problem like what problem you can think you can invest in so, um i want to speak that uh, due to this covid uh, situation there are many person there are many people around the world who are uh, who are able who are forced to uh, join the classes by online so mm. before they used to do their classes by offline they used to go to schools and learn by uh, think properly by using the visual visually but now they have to go to uh, they have to sit in their home and uh, learn through the uh, online it's more difficult for anyone to anyone to learn to this all uh, online it's even more difficult uh, to any people who is who is doing to any of these uh, methods if uh, even though if, uh, even though teachers are there or students are there they they, they face many problem if they learn through online they won't be able to uh, learn properly if there are online uh, if there are online uh, labs it's more tough it's it's uh, it's not only easy for uh, teachers uh, it's more difficult for students uh, it's more difficult for masters and bachelor students though they have to uh, go in their intern 
and it's uh, it's a tough thing uh, there are more more problems uh, just like um uh, we can take an example of um, going through an a uh, business a uh, business through an online process then uh, going through an offline mode we can see many different process uh, different processes uh, seen by in, in in an online mode so this is the thing i want to add great great thank you thank you ankit like that was a really good explanation you given the problem so i we are going to consider that problem also so thank you for your time please you can meet thank your you. now coming to avinash hello avinash how are you i am fine great 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 to see you after so, such a long time so like what do problem do you think is like viable to solve actually my problem is that uh, in my area uh, area or locality people used to dump their garbage near our building so your problem is waste management great great yes, great thinking somewhat great thinking so now let's uh, come to uh, chetraj chetraj how are you i'm fine bro what's about you great great so chetraj what uh, is your problem that you are thinking to solve when you grow up i think I think food scarcity, bro. Because you know there are many people dying in the world due to food, and we can we can solve this problem by not wasting our food and all, conducting some food giving campaign to the poor people. Great, great, great. That's a great problem. That's very uh, generous of you. That's that's the food food scarcity. Okay, now coming to Sunit. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, so you don't. Yeah, I'm great. Thank you. Yes, my problem is nowadays online games are too much addicted to yes. online games. Problem. So, <laughs> like playing online games is making kids more addictive to it, and uh, it's yeah. making yeah. a lot a lot of issues in education and other stuff. Yeah. Very, very good. Thank you, thank you for your time. Now, Ishan, Ishan, what's your problem? How are you? Sorry, Ishan, I cannot hear you. Your mic is muted. Hello, Tanmay. Hello. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. So I don't have any problem in like general, but uh, the other day in January, I heard about a news. Yes. I don't remember which date, but the news was about a. Uh, certain gas geyser yes and due to which a family not a family but a person a man died due to mm. some gas leak in gas geyser mm. uh, i researched about it a bit and i found out that gas geyser uh, that geyser is usually uh, means used when used in ill ventilated means not a good ventilated bathroom it usually affects the person or the user uh because it emits some carbon monoxide so it's mm. something we can solve and it's a i think it's a big problem uh, these are is very common in every home observation is some like that's really good um thank you thank like that i have like problem very much so now coming to satyam how are you satyam fine great so, so yeah what what do you think like which problem we can solve uh my problem is basically on electricity power cut okay great yes due to this covid we are now all are doing in, uh, like a online sessions or online mode everything using solar panels is good great it will great sir uh, it will make uh, make uh, it is like uh, having some uh, we have to invest some money but uh, it will end up in a good lifestyle i think yeah that's a great uh, problem like observation <clears throat> that's really good so coming to shivani how are you i'm fine what about you i'm great i'm doing great so like uh, what do you think like the problem you can solve in future like my i think the major problem is uh, overpopulation Oh. because it increased demand of food water housing energy healthcare transportation and many more that's that's really good observation shivani i like the problem too like i think there's a competition between you and ishan while voting that's a really good problem 
thank you for your time shivani you can mute yourself okay hi pramod how are you i am fine fine brother how are you great great i am happy to see you so what okay, problem do you think like you can solve in future like i have just visualized a serious problem and that the problem is of student according to unicef we have come to know that uh, over 10 millions of children are street children over, over the world and uh, more than 1 million are just from india okay the cause is uh, that leading to increase in number of uh, street children may be social religious uh, or economic and cultural causes due to which it has affected uh, the lives of uh, children and uh, it has affected them sexually and leading them to sexual physical emotional abuse and even uh, leading them to mental health problems and even they are being attacked by uh, some diseases and uh, it is so sad to hear, uh, hear and see that uh, many street children are dying day by day so it's that's a serious problem that needs to be sorted yeah that's a really good observation pramod i really like that idea you're very generous thank you for your time pramod you can mute yourself thank you now coming to jyoti how how are you jyoti yes i am fine and what about you great i am doing great so jyoti what problem do you think uh, you have yeah. uh, i have researched on many problems and uh, one one of the huge problems i found that uh, uh, unemployment in india is it's growing very fastly and uh, you are doing that uh, uh in 2021 it have uh, decreased from 6.5% literally and uh, uh, skill development uh, is not fulfilled by them also they can't get job uh, or governments also can not provide them a high skill job so that's why i think uh, in the four years uh, we can find a uh, way and work on them uh, like we can find also something sol- solutions Uh, how can we provide some jobs like the unemployment uh, overall great 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 jyoti that's a really good observation that's a major problem in india to unemployment thank thanks for your time yeah. now just we are going to vote on the problem that you guys think like is worthwhile for investing our two assignments in so are you guys ready give me some thumbs up great 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 thank you thank you now coming to the problems i will give you just problems and you just have to give your thumbs up please put your thumbs down like you think like it's worth while investing okay so now coming to the first problem it's of ankit so you think ankit's problem is like worth while in- investing time in okay okay thank can you. you repeat ankit's problem once again we don't remember everyone so yeah it's, it's it's online education okay okay so okay thank you thank you for your response i've got your response now please put your thumbs down okay now coming to shanif's problem that's plastic who thinks that it's a good uh, problem to like invest your time in okay thank you thank you please put your hands down now coming to bibek's problem that's college mess who thinks that's a good uh, problem to invest your time in please put, uh, raise your hands okay thank you now coming to Am- amit's problem please put your uh, hands down chetraj yes now coming to amit's problem amit's problem is of uh, stray animals who thinks that's a good problem to solve and put your invest your time in please uh, put uh, raise your hands okay now coming to um, chetraj's problem it's of food scarcity who thinks that's a good problem please raise your hands okay now coming to sunit's problem of game addiction who thinks that's a good problem please raise your hands okay thank you now coming to satyam's problem of electricity who thinks that's a good problem please raise your hands okay 
now coming to ishan's problem of gas geyser a fixation who thinks that's a good problem please raise your hands okay ishan's getting a lot of words good work ishan great so now coming to shivani's problem overpopulation who thinks that's a good problem please raise your hands great great that's competition between ishan and shivani okay now coming to promotes problem who thinks that's a good problem please raise your hands great now coming to jyoti's problem unemployment please raise your hands who thinks that's a good problem great this is also a competitive environment now coming to like shanif's problem waste management plastic who thinks that's a good good problem okay thank you thank you for your time now uh, as per the votes it's decided that uh, Ishan's geyser problem has got about ten votes. So congratulations, Ishan! Like your problem is like worthwhile investing. So thank you for giving that idea. So in the next class, we will discuss about how to solve this problem. So thank you all for joining this meeting. Hope you have a great day. Thank you. 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 Uh, so good morning, all. uh i hope you guys have had a great day and took some rest yesterday we discussed about the uh, problem that we are going to solve and ishan's problem uh, got about 10 votes so that's the problem we are going to trying to solve and uh, incentivize on that idea so ishan can you just please brief about your problem so these guys can uh, tell what's happening like uh, yes of idea. course uh so i researched about it a bit and i found out that it's uh, a case which is going on for like several years now and uh, i have heard the news of 2020 where a nepa where in nepal uh, a family from india uh, got caught up in this and the problem was uh, they were in a hotel where a gas geyser was in use and that gas geyser was allegedly giving out carbon monoxide means it was uh, affecting in suffocation and uh, those uh, ga- those family they got caught in suffocation and all died because of this and uh, in january 2022 a case from pune like this also came up uh, in which that man also uh, comes under suffocation due to this carbon monoxide from gas geyser and he also died and not only carbon monoxide but uh, due to this gas geyser steam also become excessively in that bath in bathrooms and due to steam steam oxygen also deprived a bit so less oxygen more carbon monoxide you know it's problem in a bathroom where everything is closed and hmm Yes, yes, I got it. I got it. So that's the problem. So let for that let's uh, use the idea of ideation. Okay, the process of ideation where we first like discuss the problem which you have already done, Ishan. Great work on that. You have discussed very briefly. So now what we are going to do is like as a team we are going to like give some ideas. At first we are going to give some blunder, bad ideas. Okay, I want really bad ideas. so with that bad idea we can like go up to a good idea like make something productive like amazing like do some innovation so i hope you guys are all ready for that please give some give me some thumbs up thank you thank you guys thank you guys so let's start first with amit amit what do you think uh, your bad idea is going to be so at first i would like to appreciate tanmay what uh, ishan what he observed about the problem it's really brilliant idea so as you said I, I, we have to say any dumb ideas so i would like to say in many cases i read about it uh, mainly most accidents occur due to during taking bath so why not we take bath in river and lake instead of using bathrooms that's a good great dumb idea thank you thank you amit thank you thank you for your patience time and patience you can mute yourself now coming to like vivek vivek how are you i am fine how are you i am doing great So can you just let me about uh, know about like some bad ideas, dumb ideas? 
like amit said yeah in in my plan we can use ceiling fan in bathroom so that the air will be the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide present in the bathroom will flush out that's that's a great bad idea thank you vivek thank you for your input now coming to avinash avinash how are you thank you tanme i am fine and uh, tanme i actually think that uh, instead of um, investing in uh, geysers we can uh, put uh, um, that uh, cylinders fire extinguishers instead so <laughs> that that's a good bad idea thank you thank you avinash for your input coming to shanir what do you think is like a bad idea uh, first of all i would like to appreciate ishan's work for coming up with a great idea and uh, then uh, according to me the bad idea is that uh, we will try to have less bath in the washroom that's that avoiding oh. and avoiding the use of get gas geysers okay okay that's that's about it so you're saying avoid gas geysers okay so you're saying use electric geysers yeah yeah okay okay no more how are you i am fine talme so give me some bad idea what do you think like uh, about after hearing ishan what do you think is like say, a bad idea yes that's a serious problem that uh, ossification caused due to gas geyser yes and i think that uh, we should eradicate, eradicate the use of gas geyser and uh, for uh, that purpose we can instead use uh, lift solar water heater which okay. is uh, so much more saying... environment friendly okay so you're telling that put solar panels and use that solar water geyser yes great great i think that's a good idea kind in a way but like i want dumb ideas like do you have any dumb ideas okay pramod i will give you some time to think uh, now let's go to chitraj can you give me some dumb ideas chitraj uh what if we use uh, electric heater instead of gas geyser okay so yeah so use electric geysers okay Great. Yes, that's a bad idea. Thank you, thank you, Chitraj. Now coming to Satyam, what do you think? Like bad idea? Give me some bad idea. Bad idea. I like. Uh, we can make uh, ventilation channels. Okay, ventilation. So channel. that there are uh, narrow yes. spaces. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's also a bad idea. So we are saying get more oxygen in somehow. You are saying uh, okay or detect more yes, oxygen. Yes. Okay. Now coming to like. Uh, Ankit, please give me some bad ideas. Hello everyone. Um, yes. Thank you, Tanmay. Thank you, Tanmay, and for this opportunity. And I would like to mostly thank you, our Ishan from the group, from being for bringing this idea, good idea, which is a serious problem. Yes. Though I'm, uh, though I'm from country Nepal, so I think it's a major problem in our country. Hmm. And the yes. and the best it's a uh, very common in winter winter season. So everyone has to use the gas heaters uh, in winter season because it's very cold in winter. It's around it's around four to five degrees Celsius. So during at night and during day it's around eleven to twelve degrees Celsius. As we as I know or as some people know. So for uh, bad idea, Ankit. Like, you give me some bad yeah. ideas. I want like ideas. We got the problem, like bad ideas. As a bad idea, it's uh, it's best to not to bath or uh, it's not to bath for few days or few months during the winter season. Okay, that that's also a bad idea. But give me like some more input. I will give you time. Like uh, I gave Pramod. I will ask you later. So like Jyoti, what do you think is a bad idea? uh i think uh, regarding this bad idea we can place a, a oxygen cylinder in the bathroom okay that's why it will not go down the 21% level oxygen and uh, no suffocation will be happens there okay so that's that's a good bad idea so you are saying oxygen cylinder that's a good point good point thank you now coming to sunit so what do you think is a bad idea when go to the bath bathroom take a oxygen bath is For protect a lower oxygen level. So you are saying that you you put a mask over your face for carbon monoxide. Like you don't take in carbon monoxide. So our main problem factors are carbon monoxide, temperature, and oxygen depletion and oxygen. Right? Yeah. 
okay okay so like that's uh the our main factors so what do you say about like building a device that can have these three elements what do you say an inputition what do you would, what would you like to say like we are going to build a device with carbon monoxide meter oxygen meter and temp uh, thermometer also like that would be a great idea like geyser with built in what do you, what do you say ishan I, will... i think that's great i think that's great because at the end of the day we are getting affected and if we can detect the problem earlier like uh, every time in the, those cases uh, all the users were unaware about the presence of carbon monoxide or they are in a situation where oxygen is very less so i think if we can somehow detect or also we can ventilate it or somehow we can give uh, oxygen provide oxygen in the situation but i don't think providing oxygen cylinders making this thing bulky will will be cost affected and every everyone's going to do it so detecting is just detecting will be good so we can discuss on that okay so, so you are telling to detect yes so detect like carbon monoxide levels temperature levels and oxygen levels so that's that's a great input from today's session uh, so we are going to build a product based on which we can uh, uh, like detect carbon monoxide levels oxygen levels and uh, the temperature levels so thank you guys thank you for your time and patience today's session was great thank you thank you because of your bad ideas we got a like great I, through process of ideation we got a great idea thank you thank you guys hope you have a great day thank you hey guys this is satyam from dtps team 41 and today we're going to talk about something which no one seems to care about it is very unfortunate thing and yet so common which need to be solved did you guys know that at least 40 people die every year due to asphyxiations caused by gas geysers just in nepal yes gas geysers are widely used in cold places due to lack of electricity and it is great alternative to electric current and it gets gets the work done perfectly but also due to this many valuable lives are also lost every year while taking bath in a poorly ventilated bathroom using a gas geyser people usually come across suffocation due to asphyxiation caused by increasing carbon monoxide level and lack of oxygen level so you must be thinking what is the solution to this problem i along with my pro- uh, uh, along with my group have done a, have, have thought a problem of the solution and uh, designed a product so now ishan is going so now you know who the stakeholders are now let's talk about what's the solution to this problem it's crazy how such a big problem which is common in gas geyser has a simple solution with the help of design thinking and problem solving we have found the solution to this problem here we should keep in mind that the two main culprits of affectation are number 1 production of carbon monoxide and number 2 depletion of oxygen in bathroom due to this the air becomes toxic and not breathable so what if we could somehow manage to detect carbon monoxide from the root basically this is pretty hard because as you know carbon monoxide is produced due to combustion of lpg in an unventilated room but that's the living condition of most people who still use gas geyser now the same goes with the case of depletion of oxygen combustion takes oxygen to burn and on top of that heating water fills the room with steam and thus this eliminates oxygen and now everyone is stuck in the same place without any safety precautions an alternate solution to this is using electric geyser right how can we forget it it's getting more popular it's reliable and doesn't even have issues like combustion or overheating etc but keep it in mind not everyone can use electric geysers in a high altitude place where weather is usually cold and electricity is not reliable people usually prefer gas geysers so you must think that the problem is solved when it is used in an unventilated bathroom well i hate to say this but people living in such places have bathrooms that are not very well ventilated so have, we have to think of something for these gas geyser users so now you know also that you can't really control the presence of carbon monoxide or steam in gas geysers so what now ain't there no solution for this problem let's try to solve it the other way what if we try to know when the carbon monoxide is being released excessively or when the oxygen levels are getting below normal pretty easy right 
This can be easily done by combining some devices and using some de design thinking. So now let's see what parameters are affecting the end user in a harmful way. The parameters are carbon monoxide, oxygen and temperature. We all know carbon monoxide is harmful above 75 ppm for a human being. And detecting carbon monoxide is not a big deal with a CO detector. So we can now move on to oxygen level. We know atmospheric oxygen is around 20.9%. But in higher altitude places where the temperature are really low, the oxygen level decreases to nearly half found in sea level. In this case, our problem is due to steam and combustion, oxygen is lacking. So we need something to measure it. And we will use, yes you guessed it right, an oxygen meter. Combining these two with a thermometer for measuring the room temperature just to be on the safer side. And now if the steam is not making the room unbearably hot. With the average ambient temperature being around 12 degrees Celsius and in a hot bathroom it can go probably up to 65 degrees Celsius. We need to alter the person and we need to alert the person inside the bathroom when the conditions become unfavorable. For that we will need a siren that will ring. These three devices will be connected and programmed with the siren so that it will ring and alert the user when the conditions become unbearable. LEDs will also be there for visual alert. It will normally be green and turn red to alert danger. Now let's talk about how the device is programmed. If carbon monoxide is found to be above 75 ppm then and the oxygen level drops below 11% then the siren will ring and the circuit will turn off the gas geyser. So now you know what the solution to this is and you must think how it's beneficial for the stakeholders. Well India is a developing country here startups and companies never get a good ground to introduce or exhibit their unique ideas in front of the world. So to get noticed, the companies have to come up with life and cost saving ideas which will eventually target the major groups of people that is the middle class. So the idea of gas geyser with an oximeter will help in getting a boom in the tech community and apart from that it's a genuine life saving innovation for people. Now coming to customers, people who still use gas geysers generally in cold region are the main stakeholders for this product. It will reduce the death caused due to malfunctioning of gas geysers. Now coming to the government, they act as a stakeholder as they will make it compulsory for the manufacturers to include this as a safety device within the product. They can also subsidize this product to make it more accessible to a broader population. So now you must be thinking who all the stakeholders are and how the product is beneficial for them. So let me elaborate it in a simple way. A shareholder owns a part of a public company through shares of stocks, but a stakeholder is the one who has an interest in the company for reasons other than stock performance or appreciation. A stakeholder is a person who uses the product or gets some profit by making others use the product. Well, there are two types of stakeholders, internal and external. Internal stakeholders are company personnel, while external stakeholders are entities like government, customers, society, suppliers, etc. As we know, external stakeholders include clients or customers, investors, shareholders, suppliers, and the government. Talking about customers, they are the ones who are directly affected by our product and the sustainability of our product is determined by them. Yes, and even customers want to receive the best possible product or service. They may also want to see the business making a positive contribution to society. And when it comes to suppliers, they want to see increased demand for the business product or services so that there is a greater demand for their own benefit. Also, if the demand of the product increases, then the supplier will be satisfied with the product and supply an adequate quantity of our product in the market, which is beneficial part for all of us. Governments and other regulatory bodies want the company to follow laws employ more people and uphold good financial practices to support the economy of course and the government imposes tax on the product which improves the economical condition of the country and the government can subsidize the product so it will be more affordable for the back of class. They can also make the product mandatory for the manufacturers to install or provide built-in like daylights in vehicles or airbags in cars as a safety precaution. We know that shareholders are always stakeholders in a company but stakeholders are not always shareholders. Shareholders own part of the company through shares of stocks and always are focused on the stock performance of the company hence giving the company to prove themselves and keeping the company on the brink of innovation. So if our product gets launched then the shareholders are the one who will be watching the performance of our product until they hold the shares and they always want our product to flourish. Hello everyone, this is Tetra Sound from Nepal studying in Sibir Raman Global University, Bhuvaneswar, India. As my friend already explained about the problem and solution of this topic, now it's time to get into the product, right? And as, as the Isan explained the solution, now we'll try to model it and how it should be available commercially. Mm, yes, it will be available in stores sold separately for people uh, who already have a gas geyser. But most importantly, it will, uh, it will come in built in a new gas geyser. 
there there are seven there are seven components in the product which are as the sun sensor and like uh, an oxygen meter a thermometer a carbon monoxide detector uh, a led a side on and a circuit breaker all these components are combined together in an integrated circuit which will be programmed to cut the supply and when the parameter exit and hence the clients hence cut the electric supply to the geyser this will be powered by a battery because uh, uh, all gas geyser are mostly battery powered. Uh, then the normal atmospheric, then the normal atmospheric uh, <coughs> oxygen level should be maintained above 11% because at higher altitude oxygen gets reduced. The decrease in oxygen level is due to situation which leads to asphyxiation. So when the oxygen level gets below 11% in the oxygen meter, the algorithm will be activated and the gas geyser will be turned off automatically and the siren and the lights will be activated at the same time to alert the user. Similarly, temperature is very harmful factor which leads to depression of atmospheric oxygen and then asphyxiation. The normal atmospheric temperature um, due to steam gas uh, geysers is average at about uh, uh, 60 degree. Uh, thus, the safety measure is set at uh, 65 degrees. So, when the temperature exceeds the safety level, uh, the meter will beep and at the same time and the gas geyser will be turned off automatically. And carbon monoxide, you know, carbon monoxide is the most harmful and dangerous gas which leads to asphyxiation is also a very big problem. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a major problem that can be neglected. And um, so, regulation and detection of carbon monoxide is very important. For this, we have a carbon monoxide detector which is installed in this device. Uh, the standard carbon monoxide level any human can resist is uh, 75 parts per million. Thus, if the uh, if the carbon monoxide level exceeds the normality, uh, the buzzer will again be ringing and turning off the gizzard accordingly. <coughs> And the current which will flow from those three devices will pass through a capacitor, an alarm, and a lead uh, which will be present in the circuit. So when the current passes through a capacitor, um, an algorithm is activated and alarm start ringing and thus indicating the dangerous situation and alerting the user accordingly. Uh, <clears throat> that current uh, that current will also flow through a fuse coil which will have a very high resistance capacity so that when the current will flow from the wire, uh, the circuit will break. Thus the gas or thus the gas geyser will be turned off automatically and the person present can escape and take action accordingly and this device can be used in individual system connected uh, this device can be used in individual system connected to gas geyser and heater alongside or else can be fitted in the gas geyser as pre-installed safety precaution device in the man man mandatory and just, just like uh, uh, airbags you know safety airbags in the cars etc now let's come towards the production factory which are involved in this device the component used in this device are easily available easily available in marketplaces um, the cost of the production will approximately uh, like 2500 rupees including the component and the, uh, other expenses thank you everyone now we have almost come to an end we found a problem we discussed this further found our ideas laughed joyed had fun and most importantly we solved it we solved something that caused deaths like it's like such a joy such a peaceful thing to do like we are looking forward to modeling it and implementing it as well. It's not rocket science. It's just basic thinking which can save lives. That's all for this. Thumbs up if you like it. Subs if you love it. Thanks for watching. Team TTDPS41 signing out. Thank you.